Alright, so I have no idea if this is going to work or not since my uh, Wi-Fi isn't working right now. i got a new phone and uh, I haven't set up my GoPro's Wi-Fi and I don't remember the password. So if this is still working, great. If it's not, oh well. So, I wanted to share a story with you. I wanted to share the story of the first time I ever rode a real motorcycle. And uh, for me, it was not only the first time I rode a real motorcycle, it was also the first time that I rode, or sorry, had an accident on a real motorcycle. So, I'm, imagine this, I'm uh, about five years old, maybe four, and uh, I just learned just maybe a few months before that how to ride a bicycle without training wheels. And uh, my dad is like, all right, well, you know how to ride a bike, so let's uh, put a motor on it. So he throws me on, uh, on top of a 50cc dirt bike. It doesn't really give me a lot of you know, tips, as, you know, tells me where the throttle is, where the brakes are, you know, nothing super technical, of course, I'm basically four years old, so what am I going to know, what am I going to retain anyways, and, uh, he, <laughs> so I, I get on, and I turn the throttle and drop the clutch, and, uh, yeah, I didn't, so if you look at my right hand here, you know, I wasn't doing the broken wrist technique where you, if you don't know what that is, if anyone's right, watching who doesn't know what that is, basically you bend your wrist backwards a little bit, and uh, so when the bike lunches, lurches forward, if you drop the clutch too fast, you, you're actually close the throttle as opposed to open it. So if I were to open it right now, right, it, it lurches forward, and my if I was holding my... Uh, wrist the wrong way, it actually will uh, open it even more, and that's exactly what happened. So, so this is a little 50cc bike, but of course I'm microscopic at that time, so it can really, you know, it was enough bike for me at the time. And uh, yeah, I start flying, and uh, I'm totally out of control. I don't know what I'm doing, and I happen to be going straight for a picnic table and I'm wearing an open face helmet so of course I'm about the right height where the picnic table the butt end of it is going straight for my face and uh, my dad thankfully who's you know pretty quick on his feet and he's also got these long arms that he could just he's been he's pretty famous for for being able to make that last save at the last moment and uh, he was able to pluck me off the bike just like feet, few feet from me smashing my face into the uh, picking table. And of course, the bike sails into the picking table, but I'm uh, I'm no worse for wear. And we pick the bike up, dust it off. It's you know got a couple of scratches, a couple of dents, but it's going to survive. And he says, "All right, now get back on." And uh, I really did not want to go back onto that bike. And he said, well, you, if you don't go on now, you never will again. And I'm like, I'm okay with that. But uh, he said, no, because if you let your life be ruled by fear, as opposed to what you want, it takes things off the table for you in life. So, so he gets me back on. And this time I'm a lot more careful. I, I understand a little bit more what that throttle can do. And, and of course I'm still not doing everything right, but I don't lose control. And uh, next thing you know, slowly but surely, I get a little faster, a little faster. And the uh, I, I forget my fear. And it's replaced with joy. And uh, that's when I was hooked. I don't think my dad ever thought, yeah, you should, you're going to ride motorcycles when you're an adult or something. He just thought, no, this will be fun. You're going to enjoy it. And when I had that 
accident. Thankfully, I didn't get hurt, but he knew that if he didn't get me on that bike right away, that I probably would never get on a bike ever again. And so, you know, if, if my dad is listening, dad, thanks a lot for saving my face. And also, thanks for this hobby, because if it wasn't for you, I probably would be afraid of bikes. So that's, that's my story. Now, I'd like to continue this story, but in a way that's conversation. Well, it's great to tell a story, but it's... Jesus, what the hell am I looking at there? I don't know if you can see it. It's, if you look straight ahead, there's a car that has... I don't know what that is. It's, it's not police. But it's like... It sure makes you think it is. Look at this. So I'm get a little closer. How is that legal? Because that sure looks like, uh... Yeah, like, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. I understand. Sorry. Yeah, it's a funeral procession. procession. So, anyways, uh, back to the story. I'd really like to know... You know, it's great to tell a story, but I'd really like to have a conversation. So in the comments below, I'd love it if you guys shared your first first story. What was your first bike? Maybe what was not the, your first bike that you owned, but what was the first one you got on? How did it go? How old were you? Was it something that you enjoyed right off the bat? Or was it something that took a little bit of time to grow into? And as always, please subscribe if you, if you haven't already. Like in the comments below, it always helps. And uh, yeah. Until then, I'll see you out there.